Another day and another challenge for the CCP in China as they struggle to crush the pro-freedom uprising. And we ask, is this going to change the relationship between the West and Beijing? Probably not. Hello everybody, welcome to the UK's most watched political show on the internet. We will be your voice, we will be your advocate, and we will stand up to the establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. So, we are going to have so many videos for you guys today. There's so much happening in the UK and across the country, across the world when it comes to the fight for freedom. Every now and then, by the way, before we start, <laughs> when I do some um, updates and even on Twitter, about the fight for freedom some people say well i don't care let's just focus on what's going on uh, i don't know with the uk economy i said some some of us can multitask when it comes to the fight for freedom we can stand up and in defense of the dutch farmers and the chinese citizens and iranian revolutionaries as well as thinking about our own country now china or in the words of donald j trump china Seeing as some sort of a uh, bit of a uprising and um, unexpected yet, well, unpredicted yet expected, essentially, because um, they've, they've taken their measures to a whole new level. And I'm also going to be talking about the hypocrisy from the Western mainstream media outlets. China, who have um, crossed the line, as usual, uh, when it comes to controlling their citizens, and this is all about slippery slope situation and, and we have to always be careful in the west uh, as normal people because in the name of paternalistic politics and government who cares about you who cares about being compassionate they're doing it for you sometimes people in each country become complacent and they allow the state to do certain things and one day they open their eyes and see the whole country is in tyranny this is what happened in china when they started doing those implementations of the social credit system that they have, the all the camera surveillance everywhere, and of course the, the data, uh, fo focusing on the data gathering uh, from uh, the CCP, people thought, well, I'm just going to work, I'm just doing my own thing, and I care about my family, everything's fine. Then, after a while, the state used that against them. I mean, who, who saw that coming, right? Now, people in China are standing up against the CCP. And this isn't, it initially started a while ago, a few weeks ago, simply just to fight against the, these lockdown measures and the, 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 the forced testing and everything else. But shortly after, the narrative changed. And the, the, the rhetoric when it comes to the, the people on, on the streets protesting, they are now vocally and publicly uh, chanting against President Xi, against his party, and saying that we need a system change. They want regime change. Um, now, it is impressive that they are still brave enough to do that, because even compared to Iran, what's going on in Iran, even anywhere else that we've seen any sort of uprising, China is even more dangerous because the state knows every single person. The state knows where you live, what you eat, how old you are, and what you're going to be doing. So if you're brave enough to go on the streets in China, then again, this is going to be a, a game changer for the 21st century. Now, media, our media, hypocrisy. It's interesting how the, the Chinese uprising is all over the news now, yet there's still silence when it comes to the Iranian uprising. Hmm. Maybe because there is no appetite for regime change in Iran. Maybe they, they still prefer to have a weak enemy in Iran as opposed to a, an independent, strong, equal partner because they can't control them. But the, the, the hypocrisy when it comes to the media is they are going so hardcore against the Chinese Communist Party uh, with the implementation of lockdown policies and everything else. But the same media defended Justin Trudeau. The same media defended Jacinda Ardern. The same media defended our government and the US government when it came to lockdowns and they destroyed the anti-lockdown protesters and they did name calling and everything else. Somehow, right now, <laughs> they say, yes, standing up against the extreme lockdown measures is, is a very good cause. Well done, Chinese people. Are you kidding me with that? Are you, are you, did you not show the footage of the French police on the streets, the Canadian police and all even even here? how they treated the protesters. Now you want us to think that you're on the side of morality. 
Really, are you kidding me with that? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to have videos for you guys uh, every half an hour, hopefully. And uh, the next one in half an hour, we'll take a quick break. It's going to be about uh, the SMP anti-English rally. This was uh, the most hilarious thing I've seen so far in 2022. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.